Declaration of Independence is a 12 by 18 foot (3.7 by 5.5 meters) oil on canvas painting by American John Trumbull depicting the presentation of the draft of the Declaration of Independence to Congress. It was based on a much smaller version of the same scene, presently held by the Yale University Art Gallery. Trumbull painted many of the figures in the picture from life, and visited Independence Hall to depict the chamber where the Second Continental Congress met. The oil on canvas work was commissioned in 1817, purchased in 1819, and placed in the United States Capitol Rotunda in 1826. The painting is sometimes incorrectly described as the signing of the Declaration of Independence. The painting shows the five-man drafting committee presenting their draft of the Declaration to the Congress, an event that took place on June 28, 1776, and not the signing of the document, which took place later. The painting shows 42 of the 56 signers of the Declaration. Trumbull originally intended to include all 56 signers but was unable to obtain likenesses for all of them. He also depicted several participants in the debate who did not sign the document, including John Dickinson, who declined to sign. Trumbull had no portrait of Benjamin Harrison V to work with, but his son Benjamin Harrison V was said to resemble his father, so Trumbull painted him instead. As the declaration was debated and signed over a period of time when membership in Congress changed, the men featured in the painting never were in the same room at the same time. In the painting, Thomas Jefferson appears to be stepping on John Adams' foot in the painting, which many thought was supposed to symbolize their relationship as political enemies. However, upon closer examination of the painting, it can be seen that their feet are merely close together. This part of the image was correctly depicted on the $2 bill version. <laughs> Key to historical figures depicted in the painting The following key to the figures in the painting follows the numbering used by the U.S. government publication, Art of the Capital, in the illustration of the key shown in this section, but provides a different, hopefully clearer, description of which figure is where in the painting, so numbers are not entirely in order. Key to figures in each group, listed from left to right. Four men seated on the far left. 1. George With. 2. William Whipple. 3. Josiah Bartlett 5. Thomas Lynch Jr., seated at the table on the left 4. Benjamin Harrison seated together to the right of Harrison and in front of the standing figures 6. Richard Henry Lee 7. Samuel Adams 8. George Clinton 5 figures standing together on the left 9. William Paca 10. Samuel Chase 11. Lewis Morris 12. William Floyd 13. Arthur Middleton Three seated figures in the back between the two sets of standing figures 14. Thomas Hayward Jr. 15. Charles Carroll 16. George Walton Set of three figures standing together in the back 23. Stephen Hopkins wearing a hat 24. William Ellery 25. George Clymerton figures seated. 17. Robert Morris first on the left at the table. 18. Thomas Willing. 19. Benjamin Rush. 20. Elbridge Gerry. 21. Robert Treat Payne. 22. Abraham Clark. 26. William Hooper. 27. Joseph Hughes. 28. James Wilson. 29. Francis Hopkinson Five figures standing in front the Committee of Five 30. John Adams 31. Roger Sherman 32. Robert R. Livingston 33. Thomas Jefferson 34. Benjamin Franklin Four background figures seated together near the right corner of the room 35. Richard Stockton 36. Francis Lewis 37. John Witherspoon 38. Samuel Huntington Two figures standing in the right corner of the room 39. William Williams 40. Oliver Wolcott Two foreground figures at the central table 42. Charles Thompson standing 41. John Hancock seated Three figures standing at right 43. George Reed 
44. John Dickinson 45. Edward Rutledge Two figures seated at far right 46. Thomas McKean 47. Philip Livingston Note, not a signer of the final Declaration of Independence but depicted in painting. Although Charles Thomson was one of two members listed by name in the earlier Dunlap broadside as having attested to the declaration, and many historians believe he had signed the original document that was lost. <laughs> Unpainted signers There were fourteen signers of the declaration who did not appear in the painting. Matthew Thornton New Hampshire. John Hart, New Jersey. John Morton, Pennsylvania. James Smith, Pennsylvania. George Taylor, Pennsylvania. George Ross, Pennsylvania. Caesar Rodney, Delaware. Thomas Stone, Maryland. Thomas Nelson Jr., Virginia. Francis Lightfoot Lee, Virginia. Carter Braxton, Virginia. John Penn, North Carolina. Button Gwinnett, Georgia. Lyman Hall, Georgia. Topic: On U.S. currency and postage stamps. Trumbull's Declaration of Independence signing scene painting has been depicted several times on United States currency and postage stamps. It was first used on the reverse side of the $100 National Bank note that was issued in 1863. The depiction was engraved by Frederick Gersh of the American Bank Note Company. The same steel engraving was used on the 24 stamp issued six years later as part of the 1869 pictorial series of definitive U.S. postage stamps. Trumbull's painting is presently depicted on the reverse of the $2 bill. Featured in it are 40 of the 47 figures from Trumbull's painting. Cut out from the scene are the farthest four figures on the left. George Wythe, William Whipple, Josiah Bartlett, and Thomas Lynch Jr., the farthest two figures on the right Thomas McKean and Philip Livingston, and one of three figures seated in the left rear George Walton. Additionally, two unrecognized figures were added one in between Samuel Chase and Lewis Morris, and another between James Wilson and Francis Hopkinson, bringing the total number of figures shown in this presentation scene to 42. Other versions Trumbull painted a smaller version only 20.875 by 31 inches 53.02 cm x 78.74 cm entitled The Declaration of Independence, July 4, 1776 1786-1820 that is now on view at the Yale University Art Gallery in New Haven, Connecticut. See also Scene at the signing of the Constitution of the United States, a 1940 painting depicting members of the 1787 Constitutional Convention by Howard Chandler Christie. Syng Inkstand, pictured in the painting.